I'll make you an offer you can't turn down, a tour of Sicily. Here's where the journey begins. A chapter of film history was written here, The Godfather. Hollywood in the front yard. For Baron Frank Platanian, this became a reality. Throughout the film, his Castello served as the Sicilian domicile of The Godfather. Here are the stairs where Al Pacino stood when the car his wife was sitting in exploded. Original shooting locations, impressive churches, trips to the heights and depths of the largest island in the Mediterranean. All of this is a mere two and a half hour flight from Hanover. The tour begins at the airport of Catania, the second largest city of Sicily. On the second day, I'm in for an ascent to Sicily's landmark, Mount Etna, one of the highest active volcanoes in Europe at an altitude of 3,323 meters above sea level. On the way to the peak, geologist Salvatore introduces me to the giant, a place full of stories and myths. When the Etna spews out lava and it slowly flows down, devout Sicilians make a procession. And the spot where the lava stops its downward path is where the altar was built. A highlight of the tour is an excursion to the lava grottos. It's quite a trip down. That's easy. Yeah, but I don't have any gloves. Super. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then let's go. <laughs> it's important to hold on. My apprehensions turn out to be unfounded. Oh, that's it's simple. so easy. The descent is easier than I thought. After getting to the bottom, Salvatore tells me how Sicilians make use of nature. OK, we're in a lava tunnel now. People used to pack snow into it. They built a tunnel so that they could get the snow out again. That was all before the refrigerator was invented. After a typical Italian breakfast, it's time to start off for the Valley of the Temples. Nestled among almond and olive trees is the best preserved temple of Greek antiquity, Concordia Temple. I meet up with my tour guide Luigi here. He's the expert for the archaeological sites of Agrigento. Well, to start with, this temple has the proportions of the golden section, which are the best ones. Everything here was built in the same ratio. If we look at the temple, we think it's harmonious, perfect, but it isn't. Corrections were made in its appearance, which can't be seen by the naked eye. That is what makes it so special. I leave southern Sicily and depart for Palermo. In the capital city, one of the loveliest churches that I've ever seen in my life awaits me, the Chiesa del Gesù. And only eight kilometers away, west of Palermo, is the Cathedral of Monreale, whose roof is studded with gold mosaics. Art and culture are left behind for the clamor of the marketplace. Gourmet chefs buy what they need for one of Europe's most exciting cuisines, a place where the Orient and Occident meet. Paying a visit to Palermo is a must. You can savor Sicilian specialties like Nespola. I'll have a kilo, please. This is panelle, deep-fried chickpea flour, so I'll just give it a try. Mmm, it tastes great. The Sicilians snack on it while shopping. Now it's time to visit one of the oldest and most important buildings in Palermo, the Palazzo Conte Federico. I'm meeting the lady of the house here, Contessa Federico. Buonasera, welcome to our home. The family of Duke Federico has inhabited this palazzo for centuries. After giving me a tour, the native of Austria even showed me a glimpse of her private bedroom. Time to take a rest now. The four-star hotel Fiesta Resort in Cefalu is just the place to do it.
After visiting the picturesque medieval city of Cefalu, we start out for Castel Bueno. A real specialty is made here. Manna, or honey of the ash as it's also called. The resinous natural product tastes mostly sweet. <laughs> now a quick trip to what's probably the oldest washing machine in Italy, and we've come to the end of our journey. Far off the beaten tourist track, I witness a shepherd's family producing traditional ricotta cheese. Delicious, it's still warm! Well, there we are now. That was really only a small taste of my tour of Sicily, and I can tell you it's way more beautiful in real life.